Desexing cats and dogs could become mandatory in South Australia following recommendations by a citizen's jury. The state government tasked the jury with finding ways to crack down on puppy farms and reduce the number of unwanted pets being euthanised. Animal shelters have long called for change to cope with the overwhelming number of unwanted cats and dogs. Each year more than 10,000 pets are euthanised. Now a state government advisory group called Citizens Jury has recommended future generations of dogs and cats be dissexed and all breeders licensed and registered. We need to know exactly where the breeders are and they need to be assessed beforehand um, to make sure that they are able to care for animals before they start breeding. We will drive uh, the inappropriate breeders who have no consideration for the humane treatment of animals out of business. Pet stores would only be able to sell dogs and cats in need of a home from registered shelters and the sale of puppies and kittens bred specifically for sale would be banned. That may of itself put a big control over the sales at pet stores because people will be responsible for their pets that they sell, they will be responsible for their point of origin. Some pet stores are concerned the changes will hurt business and argue that if there's greater regulation of breeders, the ban wouldn't be needed. We deal with a lot of families, young families in particular with children, that an older dog is not always the best option for them, where a puppy is really the only way to be safe, that you know what you're getting and you can train it yourself. The changes will be considered in Parliament later this year. Rebecca Opie, ABC News, Adelaide.